Did you know that Philadelphia is home to one of the most successful black bookstores in all of America? Right there in North Philly on the corner of Broad and Erie sits Black and Nobel. Uh, I'm Hakeem Hopkins. I'm the founder of Black and Nobel. Um, been in the business for nine years now. This is Junebug. Nine times out of ten, he's talking to Fanta and they're getting internet orders together. Um, Are black people reading books? Uh, I would say we're doing more than reading. You can turn the camera around. Um, I think that that's, a, that's basically like a stereotypical slogan saying that we don't read. And the more that we feed into that, the more we probably think we, we don't read. But I'm an example of um, our people reading, or people reading because I started the business with one box. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> years later, you see the store. So all those rumors, hide it from a, if you want to hide it, put it in a book, all that's a bunch of baloney. We sell a lot of books daily. We have events on a regular basis, sometimes every day. But for most part, every weekend we have lecture series. Uh, we deal with the hip hop crowd as well, where we do things for the hip hop artists. Um, this is the this is the hub, you know. This is the community center for information, not just books. If there's something going on, we're going to know about it first. We're a ticket location, advertising company, um, internet. We deal with the prisons, anything dealing with business. We want in. You know what I mean? And that's the type of reputation we have. We made a lot of people famous. So in turn, in turn, I guess we're becoming famous for making people famous. With regard to books, mm -hmm. the only thing people are reading is this urban fiction stuff. Yeah. No. Have you noticed? You know, Slater we have more knowledge in here than urban fiction. Right. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything wrong with either. Mm -hmm. A book is a book. Knowledge is knowledge. It's what you do with it. So I don't down any of them. I have open doors for anybody with a vision and anybody with a journey. I mean, I've had scholars in here, and then the next day I would have strippers in here talking about why they became strippers. Mm -hmm. they, need, they need an outlet to tell their stories. You know what I mean? So we became the bookstore that we don't turn anybody down. Um, that's what makes us special. You know what I mean? It's something for everybody. We can't just be for the Muslims or just for the Christians or just for the Hebrew Israelites. We got to be for everyone, and that's what's making us separated from the net, the normal or average or typical bookstore. We'll carry it all, and we don't care what you say about it. For anybody that has something to say about it, what? For the last 30 days, which is from March 13th to April 11th, we've had almost a quarter million views in 30 days. And we actually are partners with Google where we get paid to put the videos up now. So I'm kind of honored for us to learn this without anybody telling us. And people didn't want to show us. We was already a powerhouse from the grassroots, word of mouth. But once we got on the internet, it was, because we were popular before the internet mm -hmm. in jails and everything. But once we actually seen the business side of the internet, it exploded. So we, we get calls and people come in here. If, if nobody from North Philly came here all day, we would get at least 10 new people from out of state that comes here every day wow. because of the internet. Okay. So you can't ask for much more. And we get a lot of sales. Like you. Uh, no, we're not the first, but I think that we're the ones that wasn't scared to talk about it. And y'all made we, it popular. Yeah, we were, we're not the first, but we were the ones that bragged about it. Mm -hmm. And we put it out there. You, if you get a shot of the building outside, mm -hmm. you'll see it's everywhere. We ship to prison, so the families would know that we're here to help them connect with their families mm -hmm. from out here and inside. So and, and highly respect that. Mm -hmm. yeah, they'll yeah. rather come to us than go to a company that they'll never be able to talk to anyone. They can still call here and say, yo, Where's Hakeem at? I get calls on my cell phone all the time from prison. I don't know how they got the number, <laughs> but I get calls all the time. And I don't mind, you know. It's kind of like um, the cornerstone of our business. You, as you know, prisons, the industry is booming. So if you're a part of it on the business side, it does, yeah. you do, do feel that effect. Mm -hmm. So that is like our highlight of the store, Prison Mel.